everybody says middle part is back in style. I mean, if you'll see me in a middle part, you'll run away. That's what I will say. Hey guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. And if you guys have already been subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing. Today's video is so, so special. We're going to test out some new brands, at least in my possession. So we are going to test out Charlotte Tilbury for the first time. So we have the Youth Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. We have the powder, pressed powder from Charlotte Tilbury. We are also going to test Mented Cosmetics for the first time. We also have a beauty bakery trio with us and of course the palette. So hip dots Zion palette. So we're going to test all these babies together and see which and also actually Alamar Cosmetics Dulce Lip Liner. So yeah, if you guys want to see how all these perform and how I got this look, then please keep on watching. So let's begin. The first new thing that I really want to test out is Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter and I have the shade for medium. So I'm lightly going to tap it off with my fingers on the highest point of my cheekbones and see I've heard a tremendous amount of response over this product. So I was like, yeah, let's just test it out. I do have like a sample product of this. So that's what we're going to do. It definitely does give like a great glow. Now, because I'm putting it on a bare skin, it's not going to be that much, but I'm going to put like a skin tint over it, basically acting like a glowing primer. So let's see where it goes. I've already done my brows and for that I use my Arches and Halos brow pencil in the shade charcoal. So this is the second time that I'm using that brow pencil. Super glowy, right? It's not blowing my socks off my feet, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. For my foundation, I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty's Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint in the shade 11. So I have like a bunch of new brushes to try out and these are the Colourpop brush set from their Stone Cold Fox collection. So I'm going to put that to the test today. So now for the foundation brush, actually they do have a brush but it's not that stiff as much as I generally use but I'm anyways going to use this and this is the F29 brush and see how it performs. I'm basically going to stick to this brush set today just to test out how these brushes work and if you guys purchase only one brush set is it good enough or not. Now because this is a skin tint it's going to be easy to blend for sure. It's not like a full coverage foundation it's just like a it, it it has a pretty much like a good coverage i would say but like more of like a medium coverage foundation light to medium coverage i actually have done like a full review on this uh ease drop I, I will link it in the eye cards above for you guys if you have not checked it out but i i really like this ease drop and did i tell you i'm in the shade 11 See, it easily can be buildable also. Now see, because this brush is like super movable, the product will sink into the brush. See? And that's because it's not like tightly packed. Now for my concealer, I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer and I'm going to take the shade 30. I think I'm going to mix the shade 41 too, just because 30 might be a little too light for me right now especially because i have a tan going on right now so this is 30 i'm gonna mix 41 right on top of that and see i'm gonna use the same brush see it is a full full coverage concealer i really really do like this perfect that was a good match i was doubting that 30 is gonna be a little too light right now Nice, cool. I'm super excited about the powder that I'm going to test next because it's one of the bougie powders. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. And I have in the shade medium. So this is how it looks. It does come with a mirror too. I'm pretty sure you all know about it. I'm going to take the brush F32 for this. And I'm going to dip that into it. It picks up pretty nicely. It does have a blurring effect. Can you see the difference? This definitely has a blurring effect. At least what I can see personally. I really like the look of these brushes too. 
like it's super elegant like with like a light gray handle it's super nicely built brushes i would say definitely doesn't feel like cheap or anything like that it definitely has that quality i'm just going to set the entire face they do have the big powder brush so let's take that actually so for the whole face i'm going to dip into that powder brush which is f28 i love this kind of powder brushes so i'm going to take that and just lightly oh wow this is amazing so soft now let's move on to a new bronzer i'm super super excited to try this and, and this is from mented cosmetics and i have the bronzer in the shade beach bum so i'm going to take the same brush it seems like a a neutral warm bronzer let's see nice seems pretty smooth i would say easily blending wow today is a good makeup day i think now let's move on to the blush and the highlighter and i have a new product to test out and this is from beauty bakery it's a neopolitan bar face palette and it comes with the bronzer highlighter as well as the blush so we're going to test out the blush and the highlighter from this palette for the blush i'm going to take the brush f30 and i'm going to lightly dip into this because i don't know how much it's pigmented just a tiny little bit and see Oh well, that's a beautiful blush. Super nice. Even though it's like super bright in the pan, but you can definitely take like a light amount and then dust it over the cheeks and super blendable too. I like that. For the highlighter I'm going to take this shade. It seems like more of a golden shade I would say. And this I'm taking on the brush F33. And see, oh wow. that's popping so i'm just going to blend this across the temples of the cheek super blinding this is actually like more of a pinky gold i would say i might go over this with like a powder brush so that i can like melt everything together but if you guys like a blinding highlight i mean i think you would really really like it to just melt everything together i'm just going to take my setting spray and this is the elf setting spray it might spray on me i'm just going to it's the it's just on the verge of getting over so yeah. now once the face is done let's move on to the eyes and for my eyes i'm going to use my hip dots zion palette this is the first time i'm using this palette So I'm super super excited about that. It's a pretty warm tone palette, if you guys can see. It's a pretty warm tone palette with like pops of pink and purple and peaches in it. You know what this reminds me of? This can easily be like a good comparable palette to the new ColourPop Summer Collection palette. What is that called? So very lovely palette. This reminds me a lot of that. When I saw that palette, I was like, do I not have some kind of a palette that reminds me of that and then i thought about this and i was like we need to test this out <laughs> so so basically in this brush set they do have two kind of blending brushes so for starting off i'm going to dip into that brush which is e22 so i'm first going to take the shade called sandstone from the palette and this is basically like my skin tone shade but a slightly more like a lighter peach i would say I'm just dust it all across my eyelid just like for setting the primer or setting the concealer in my case I would have loved if they could have included like a bigger fluffy brush and what I mean by that is something like my Morphe's M441 so can you see this is much more like wider and this is much smaller I love this brush for like my overall thing but we're not going to use that today. We're going to stick to this brush set. So next I'm going to dip into that shade which is Canyon. I think we're going to stick to warm tones today because I recently did a look with like purples. I'm going to let's start. Oh wow, that's pigmented. Okay. I'm going to dust that also in my crease. Wow, this is stunning. 
I've only used two shades and I'm like impressed. And this is the first time I'm using hip dot. So, very nice. Super excited. I'm going to take the same shade on my lower lash line too. Now, since we have that orange peachy look in the background, now we're going to dip into some pinks. And for that, I want to dip into the shade which is Narrows from the palette. This beautiful burgundy pink shade, I would say. Super, super pigmented. I'm going to take it till like my half of my lid I would say and then take it to the outer corners and then I'm going to take the same shade to my lower lash line now once we have that I'm going to take my second blending brush and this is E23 and I'm going to dip into the shade which is called Majesty and this is more of like that deeper eggplant purple shade, I would say. And with this, I'm going to deepen up my outer corners a tiny little bit more. Now, once we have that, I'm going to dip into that shade called Angel's Landing. This coppery shade, I would say. And I'm going to take that right in the center of my eyelid. Oh, wow. I like that super punchy super smooth so if you guys have like lines and texture on your eyelid i think you will really really like it the shimmers are super super smooth that's what i would say and then for my inner corners and the inner third of the eye i'm going to dip into that shade called virgin which is that gold shimmer let's see how that is wow that's really nice I'm going to blend that into the shade called Angel's Landing that we applied in the center of the eyelid. That's nice. I like that. Okay, so for my inner corners, I'm going to dip into that brush, which is E28. And I'm going to take that same shade and plop that in my inner corners. Oh, this is nice. I like that and then I'm gonna dip that same shade underneath my brow bone just for a little more of a lifted effect let's dip into that shade called grounded from this palette and this I'm gonna apply that on my brush which is E26 so I'm gonna apply that oh wow these brushes are nice So if you guys are looking for like teeny tiny brushes for like detailed work, I mean, I think you will really, really like this. I, I do not have anything like of this shape in my collection. So I'm super excited to get that. But I would say they have a lot like this kind of a brush in their collections. I will just show it to you. Like, I think they could have avoided like these teeny tiny brushes like so many of them and given us like a bigger blending brush in this collection so see this one is like that this is much more of a rounded one so if you're giving this kind of a rounded brush for inner corners i don't think you need this um and this and this seems super close to each other and this is the liner brush which is okay i mean yeah i think these are like duplicates like it's not duplicate duplicate but you understand what i mean like it's the same shape you know i would use both of these on my lower lash line i would use both of these kind of brushes in my inner corners so i think they could have avoided like duplicate shapes and could have given like more blending brushes because i would have loved to get like a bigger blending brush just to blend everything out so now since the eye look is all done i'm just gonna line my eyes and i'm for that I'm going to use my Pixie by Petra's eye pencil and this is in the shade Matte Sienna. I'm going to take that on my waterline. Now for my lips, I'm going to test out Alamar Cosmetics and this is Dulce Lip Liner. Super excited about that. 
this is like a true nude in my opinion for me at least see how nude that is that is for me that's super super nude for me now i'm going to fill my lips with this this is my revlon lipstick in the shade pick me up like that and i would actually line my lips with just to make it a little more darker on the edges i would line it with my colourpop lippy pencil in the shade bff3 so for the gloss i'm going to take my pat mcgrath's lip gloss and this is in the shade wicked whisper it's a very good pink gloss yeah see that looks nice okay so i'm just going to finish off my eyes by lining and putting mascara on it for my liner i'm going to use my wet n wild mega liner and for the mascara i'm going to use my anastasia beverly hills mascara i'll finish off my eyes and i'll get right back so that's how everything is looking so far so this is my final look i really hope that you guys enjoyed this look this is such a warm burgundy tone look i absolutely love the way it came out the wing went extra long just because i couldn't even it out so yeah <laughs> but talking about this palette i really really do like this palette i mean the shades are super super pigmented and super blendable i would say if you guys are looking for that pinky purpley palette which i think a lot of companies are coming out right now i told you about the color pop so very lovely palette the glamnetics new red velvet palette seems very very similar to this so yes if you guys were eyeing all those palette and if you do have the zion palette i think you already have that color scheme already in your collection so yeah i just wanted to do a look with this and i absolutely love the way it came out out of the new brands that i tested out i would definitely say i am pretty much impressed with all of them the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter the youth glow the first primer that we applied i mean that didn't like blow my socks off so i was like okay with it i like how beauty bakery's trio performed like it was super pigmented i love the palette uh, i really like the powder actually from charlotte tilbury and uh, the mented bronzer was super blendable and uh, talking about the lip liner it was super smooth super creamy i will definitely use this with like my smoky eye looks so yeah super excited to try that too i really hope that you like this look and if you did like it please do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i upload three times a week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 am eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye